is about to fall and the eviction starts right after this. How badly do you want to make the top five? Everyone wants to be here for as long as they can and I want to be here for the last day of this show so I can say I've seen everything. My golden goal was to make it to the final week and make it to the final week with Tim. If I could make it through and him make it through this eviction as well, I've done way more than I even came here to achieve. For me, it's always been about Australia deciding. If they don't want to watch me, then I'd rather not be in the house. Final five, really, fingers crossed. <laughs> don't want to go home now, I've come this far. This is Eviction Night Live. Are you ready for the biggest eviction yet? Golden couple Ed and Jade could be torn apart. Mischief makers Tim and Drew could be split up for good. Whatever happens, it will have major repercussions. So let's go live to the house and get it started. Hello again, Hello. housemates. Hello, Hi, Sonia. How are we? Nervous. Oh, no. Are we? Are we? Well, well, I've got some questions to ask mm. of you. First of all, Tim. Hello. <laughs> Where is your special eviction jacket? Um, well, I didn't like that I felt like I was being dressed by Big Brother. I'll choose when I wear it <laughs> and I don't feel like it tonight. You were overthinking it, were you? Yeah, I did go a little bit crazy. <laughs> what else right. is new with me? <laughs> Jay. Yes? How confident are you that you'll make it through tonight? Um, oh, not very confident. There's three amazing guys on, these, on this bench right now, so it's um, tough competition, but, yeah, I'm happy either way. There's positives to both. All righty. Ed? Yes, Sonia? <laughs> Ed, what would it mean to you to be there in the grand final? I'd love to be there for the grand final. It means that we're, um, you know, that I guess the public think we're relatable and we'll, we've all put ourselves out there. So we'd love to be in the grand final and, yeah, we'll wait and see. But tonight's a pretty big hurdle. Big hurdle indeed. Drew. Hi, Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Tally, shush. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one name who won't be going home tonight. One name, someone who definitely won't be evicted tonight. I'll give you two, uh, Boogsy and T. <laughs> ah, Drew. <Good> <laughs> All right, Tim. Yes, Sonia. Uh, one last thing. Uh -huh. You know how this works. I'm going to save two and evict one. Yes. So tell me what you think the order will be. Oh. <laughs> I'm confused. How do you think two from saved? Two who was saved? Oh, who will be saved? Yes. I'm not saying that. <laughs> You've got to pay In order. For that. Who's, who's going to be saved first? Who's going to be saved second? Oh, go right. and have a oh. crack. Have oh. a crack. Oh. Go on, have a crack. All right, who's going to be saved first? Have a crack. Save yourself. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm not that now, good. If you were wearing special jacket you would know. Yeah, maybe. All right. Maybe. Well, we are about to find out. The eviction will decide the top five for Big Brother 2013. Best of luck to you all. This is eviction time. Here we go. Four of you have been nominated. One is about to be evicted. Australia has voted, and I can tell you that this week... We have had easily the most votes all series. Whoa. Oh, wow. So, in no particular order, one nominee who's received enough votes to save them and who will not 
be going home tonight is Also, in no particular order, the next safe nominee is... Congratulations, Drew and Tim. You are safe. Ed and Jade. How did I know that was going to happen? <laughs> Tonight's evictee will be announced in just a moment. Sit tight. Okay. That was all right. <gasps> happen if one of us is going. No, I knew it. it's me. I know. It's okay. We'll see. Oh, there was say no, those things, don't there was no oh. cheers, me. You guys got massive oh. cheers. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Paying oh. attention to that. Oh, you know, it's, oh, it's, it's, yeah. it's, yeah. We'll be alright, alright. Oh, like oh, <laughs> Let's not have a freak out either no, way. Don't, yeah. We'll see everyone in a few days, then at best. I mean, at worst. Yeah. I need a drink of water. Yeah, he's on. Back. Oh. oh, that's it's the so most dogs ever. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. At least we're. Bringing in the bacon. Bringing in the bacon. Bringing in the bacon. One of those is obviously. Do you want to go in the gold room quickly? Do you want to give me some time alone? Oh, I'm too nervous. Oh, no worries. Australia's first. We're going to be broken up. I'm staying like this. Just so pretty. Oh, I'm just going to be a little bit. Ready on, Juliet. Mark Anthony and Cleopatra, Ed and Jade, all epic love stories that were cut short in extreme circumstances. When we return, Australia's most public breakup will happen live. Don't worry, we're keeping a close eye on Ed and Jade. You won't miss anything. Find out who's going next. It's going to be interesting to see, you know, what happens if one of them does go. And I'm sure we'll see some tears and some hugs and I'll miss you and so oh, maybe not, you don't know. But it's coming to an end and someone has to go, so it could be them. If Ed left, Jade would be inconsolable, I think. She'd take it a lot harder than Ed, for sure. Jade's mentioned that she's afraid of some fan club coming after Ed like he's got some kind of believer following. <laughs> Don't think the teenage girls are after Ed. If Jade went home, Ed would be pretty devastated, I think. I think. He'd be upset for a little bit, but I think in here, the best thing to do is grow strong and move on. In a very ideal world, it would be us two standing there on stage in the final. That would be most amazing. Eviction Night has reached fever pitch. Only two nominees remain, and they just happen to be Ed and Jade, two parts of a very whirlwind romance. And now the star-crossed lovers are about to be torn apart. Let's cross live to the house and do the deed. Hi, housemates. Oh, hi, nice Sonia. Sonia. Oh, Ed oh. and Jay, this is going to be really tough. Oh, we, we were talking today and we said, I bet this we will happen. This so, happen. <laughs> we're right. Well, I'm not really looking forward to announcing oh, tonight's victory. Jay, 
Yes. How much would you prefer it if Tim or Drew was sitting next to you rather than Ed? <laughs> it would make it a little bit easier not having Ed, but, you know, I think my time might be up, but, you know, positive either way. And, Ed, if you go, how do you think Jade will cope without you in the house? She'll be fine. She's a tough, independent girl. She'll, um, there's not long until we think she's uh, coming to an end, so she'll be absolutely fine. She'll be apples. All right. Well, should we get on with it? Yeah. Let's do it. Time to announce tonight's evictee. I wish you both the very best of luck. Thank you. Thanks. Ed and Jade. After receiving the least number of votes to save this week, it's time to go. It's time to go, Ed! Yeah. 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 I think it's like that, I hope It's both working. Yeah. 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 changing for you to stay or go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you this. Don't worry. It's fine, guys. 94 days, I'm happy to be there. It could be a fake. It could be a fake. It might be a okay. fake. I'll give you that. Good luck. Oh, don't worry. It's nearly out of end. Good luck, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck in the final. Good luck and kill it. No, oh, I'm nervous going out there. You'll be fine. You'll be fine and kill it. We'll see, hey? Oh. This is Big Brother. <laughs> yeah. Ed, you have yes. been evicted. Thanks. You have ten seconds hey, to exit the Big Brother house. This happens really quickly, it's like, I don't know. See it, buddy. Come here, mate. Come here, mate. See it, buddy. Be good. Well, guys, have an awesome time. Sorry about my video, it's not great. But, oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> but thanks, guys. I've had an absolute amazing time, and I know I'll see you in a week, but I wish I could be here with you. But, oh, God. Yeah, I've learnt a lot about myself in here, so oh, thanks for helping me with that. But yeah, oh, I'm still about like to cry. Oh. It'll be fine. I feel like leaving you Look guys after it, Tim. You'll be fine. <laughs> Absolutely fine. It's just it's like two days, a week, or whatever it is. <laughs> no. Have the best time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fine. See you, See you. Yeah. Have fun. See you, boy. See ya. Enjoy it. Have a best See you, man. See you soon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. Oh. Mm. I'll see you guys soon. Enjoy. I'll no. be watching. Bye. 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 Rain knocks on the windows in a smash. <laughs> <laughs> see you, man. See you, Ed. Oh. Oh. Jay. Should it be me? Oh, no, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh, should it be? I didn't get any cheers. What the hell? Oh, that's <laughs> I don't mean a thing. I never got any cheers either when people were talking to me. All the boys got cheers. <laughs> I didn't get cheers. It's a heavily girl crowd. <laughs> You'll see him so soon. Yeah, so so soon. soon. You'll go like that now. Yeah. <laughs> What's it gloomy? He's so proud of you. Yeah, you don't yeah. know you've got a chance to. I'm gonna do it for both kids. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Mr. Clooney, oh, he's gonna have to give it to someone else. Oh, I don't want it. I don't want it. Yeah, it's yours. <laughs> That's part of the separation. <laughs> yeah. the the dog. Dog. I don't want the dog. It's yours. Oh, oh, oh Jade's upset. Mr. Clooney's upset. But saddle up the white horse because Prince Charming is leaving the Big Brother castle for good and it's time to find out how Mr Perfect really feels about his fellow housemates, especially the fair maiden Jade. Ed joins us next.
They're, they're absolutely devastated because yeah. they, now they don't have anybody to watch working out in the house anymore. Oh, I can't really hear. <laughs> um, yeah, this is so overwhelming. I don't even know what to do, to be honest. I'm just, uh, you think a million things at once. I've just obviously left the house and this is so foreign and I didn't realise there's this many people here. There's so a lot of amazing. people here. Oh, so many people. Now, yep. Ed, yep. Edward, yes. you didn't get the votes no. that you needed to stay in the house. Um, but because we are so close to the end, yep. we are only going to be revealing the percentages okay. for tonight's votes, all right? Not yep. the faces. So let's have a look and see. There you are. Ooh. So you can see how close it was. Next person down was 22.1. Yep. Then ev actually everything was fairly tight yeah. this week and more votes than ever before. Really? What do you think that order is? If you had to guess, what do you think it would be? I'd say... I've always thought that Tim's a very strong contender, so I'd give him 35, I'd give Jay 24 and Drew 22. Right, okay. Well, we don't get to find out tonight, because no. it's too oh, close to the to end. No, no, no. So, so would I, oh. so would I. All right, you got the nickname Prince Charming while you are in the house. Oh. Um, and that didn't stop people from nominating you, though. So let's take a look at who nominated yeah, you let's and do why. That. Ed comes across as Prince Charming, but I think there's also a different side to Ed that we haven't seen yet. I would like to nominate Ed. 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 He doesn't ever have an opinion. He's got impressive abs, but I'm yet to see any guts. <laughs> Ed would have a better Big Brother experience if he occasionally dropped the nice guy routine and spoke his true emotions or reactions to other people. <gasps> Obviously, I see him as a major threat in the game. I do believe that he's so worried about getting caught up in what he looks like in the house and he's actually not saying his true thoughts. He's so immersed in the game and he's got all these conspiracy theories in his head when actually nothing's really going on anymore. I'm going to nominate Ed. Ed for two points. Ed for three points. He's been manipulating behind Tim's back a lot and he's turned Jade. Maddie and Michaela against him, he's actually turned them into little Ed clones. I think he's come across as a bit one-dimensional and boring. That's cool. Interesting, Good isn't it, to look back. So were you surprised by any of those nominations? Uh, definitely Tahan uh, surprised me, but the thing about Tahan is she's coming to this game and she said exactly what she's here for, she's here to win the game. Um, but. In the Big Brother house, it's very hard not to get lost in relationships, and Tim and I have a strong relationship, but very different. So yeah. um, to hear that what I sort of say about uh, Tim can be relayed to me is, uh, yeah, that's interesting. But We are going to get to Tim very yeah. soon, but first, um, what do you, how do you feel about what Tim's dad said about you manipulating the yeah. game? Yeah, oh, look, it's, it's interesting, because that's what I say about Tim. So, and, and Tim and I have a, have a mutual respect for one another, um, very different in terms of our approach, yet um, at the end of the day, Tim and I are friends, but this is a game, and it's very hard to figure out what's going on with every single relationship, and it's funny, because friends in the house are friends of friends and friends of enemies. Um, but obviously, at the end of the day, we're, we're all um, here for the same um, reason, which is to potentially be the winner of Big Brother. To win, exactly. Now, some people thought that you were too concerned with how you were being perceived. So yep. why do you think they would have had that opinion? Um, I, I probably came into this, to be frank and honest, I probably thought about that. I probably thought there's things that I wouldn't do, but I, I quickly learnt and, and I quickly said I want to give all my vulnerabilities. I, I find that I get closest to people if... I understand their vulnerabilities and then I obviously had to give mine in turn. So I ended up giving everything I've got and that's what I'm proud of. I walk out of here knowing that Australia probably know more about me than 
some people who I've known for a few years. Yeah, so for it's, sure. it's, it's very scary at the same time. <laughs> Did so you enjoy it? Ed? Yeah, I, I loved it. It was so it, look, it's so hard. I've been a viewer. I, I've sat. Well, I haven't sat here before, but I've watched on TV, and I honestly never thought it would be such a journey where you find out and critique yourself in, in such yeah. a uh, honest way and such yeah. an honest manner. And it brings out the strangest emotions too, oh. because I saw that you were getting kind of emotional when yeah. you were having to leave the house. Yeah, I um, oh look, I. I wouldn't say I never cry, but I haven't cried for a pretty long time. I cried, you know, two things that mean most to me are family and friends, and, and they made me cry in the house. And then leaving what are now my friends was really tough. So yeah. tougher than I probably thought it would be. Yeah. But it so, is tough. Yeah. It yeah. is tough. Yeah. And we have loved seeing you in the house, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> that makes you feel better. <laughs> you always worry about that. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Crowd have really enjoyed you, Ed. We'll get to that. Okay. Um, no, first, let's talk about Tim. Your time with him was difficult. You thought yep. he was controlling the game. Um, you, you even opted to put Jade up against yeah. him because you didn't think yeah, that, was a bad one, wasn't it? that you yeah. were going to be sort of strong enough to take yeah. Tim out. So let's have a look at your relationship let's with Tim. Let's do it. He's not a Mr. Nice Guy like everybody thinks. I'm going to nominate Ed. Ed, Mr. Ed. Ed. He's a master manipulator. Oh, nominate. Tim? Tim? Tim, his manipulation is something that I've been aware of for a very long time. Big Brother wants you to decide which housemate will join you and face Australia's eviction boat. I just think Tim's too strong. He's afraid of me, Big Brother. <laughs> you feel threatened by for some oh. reason, and you feel as if you can make I do me not feel... feel threatened by you, well, Ed. No, he's just a manipulator. He's so gutless. Is he a joke? Did you actually go out there and find the most annoying person that would rub me up? Tim, we're always going to be different. I've never fabricated anything to make myself get one week further. Tim, he is the organiser of chaos in this house, has been for the entire show. He manipulates situations <laughs> for him to feel as if he's the victim. He's played this game very, very well and he'll burn every bridge he's got um, in order to get to the end. He's playing a game and he's trying to tell everyone that he's not. This whole entire game, he's trying to make me look bad. If he was an animal, he'd be a puppy dog and probably a house-trained puppy dog. What animal would you be, Tim? Maybe a lion. Are you hoping to take down your prey? Oh. Ah. Good insight. What are your thoughts on Tim? Um, oh, look, I, I stand for everything I've ever said. That uh, Tim is playing this game, and, and I guess what upset me in it is that he, he tried to pretend that he wasn't, that he's learnt and found himself. But I know he's here to play the game, and I don't hold that against him. I, I called him on things that I thought he was doing, and, and I stand true to that. All I can do is, at that point in time, think of my own thoughts. And, and that's the hardest thing in this house. We've got yeah. so many people there. Well, so if we go back in time, why did you put Jade up for eviction? Yeah, that was the first point in the game that I really had to make a decision between my head and my heart, and, and I didn't want to put up Jade because we were really starting our relationship, um, but I thought that Tim was such a strong player. Evidently, they both are, that they're still there. If you could go back in time, would you do it differently? Uh, yeah, uh, probably, would, but I don't regret it. That? Yeah, probably. Okay. Just, just seeing that, I would. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I probably would, but I don't regret that. At that point, you know, it's got me to this far sure. and Jade's still there. Now, you are out of the house, but who do you think really won the alpha male competition between you um, and Tim? I don't know if there is. I do see us as completely different, and I think we're polar opposites in a lot of manners. So some people like my approach. Some people like Tim's approach as well. So, yeah, I don't know. I'd like to think me, but Tim's still there, so I guess he's got to take that one. All right. Well, still to come, we are very much looking forward to asking you a couple of juicy questions about your that's relationship good, with Jade. <laughs> what will Ed have to say about his on-off-on relationship with the Blonde Bombshell, we will definitely be going there next. Banana Man, you have a mission, and there's a lot at stake. Your mission is to find and defuse a time bomb before the three minutes count down to zero. Everybody stay calm. Stay where you are. This is a job for Banana Man. Be calm. This is a job for Banana Man. Oh my God. Go Banana Man! Quick! Looks like there's three wires there, Ed. There's a bomb in the parlor room? You always go for the red one. That worked! Banana Man.
I would be so upset if I left this place with, I feel, cards on my sleeve that I haven't used yet. I feel as if I'm holding a few cards. Cards, 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 cards and I would love to play them at a later date. I'm not ready to play those cards yet. There has to be a time and place when you, when, you, when you pull those cards out. I've got cards that I would love to play. But I think bringing any card out any earlier than now or even next week might be too early. You're going to have to pull your cards out if you want to be here. I'll pull out every card I've got. I've got some cards in my sleeve which I'm willing to play. What I think is he's actually lost his pack of cards. This is Eviction Night Live where house hunk Ed has just been muscled out of the door. Now Ed, cards, yes. oh. cards. Time to lay them on the table, my friend. I'm a terrible cards player, as it now is yeah, <laughs> evident. What, 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 what are the cards? Oh, I guess for me, <laughs> they would have been to take on someone like Tim. And, um, yeah, I, I probably, looking back, at times I probably didn't vote for him because I thought he was a strong player and strategy comes into it. And I thought my cards would be <laughs> to <laughs> nominate him. <laughs> It just makes me giggle because I, don't know I started what I'm to think that you'd played the cards and I just missed it. I don't know if I did. I don't even know <laughs> did if I you play had the any. cards? We don't know. Yeah, I'm a terrible cards player, like I said. So, yeah, that's why I'm sitting here right now, I guess. So, who do you think will win the whole thing? Um, I asked that. I honestly, I got asked that by Big Brother the other day and I, and I said I think that Tahan's a very strong contender. Um, I do think she is, um, yeah, she's being honest to herself, but I would love to see Jade win. She's such a genuine, you know, honest person, so hopefully someone like Jade wins. Well, let's get to Jade, okay. shall we? Um, it is the good stuff, because at the very moment her fictional marriage to Drew was exposed, Jade seemed to be holding on to you quite tightly. Let's and from look. then on, the two of you turned into this quite serious sort of romance. So let's yeah. have a look. Oh, what another one. The more I get to know him, the more I just think he's incredible. It's literally like being back at school. Everyone's like, ooh. This sounds true, but I didn't want to come in here like, I know I'm just sleeping in bed or something like that, but I don't want to do that straight, you know what I mean? Like, yep. I'm not trying to. He was like, oh, I feel so guilty, I'm sorry. And I was like, I feel like I've just been dumped. Are you interested? No, she's not my friend. Ed and Jade got together again, and then today it'll be like, oh no, I don't like her. I'll come in for a bit. I think he sees it as a ticket to get as further as he can in the game. I'm glad I met you, Jade. Don't do that. You know, I do hope something comes out of this. I love Ed, I do. I think he is amazing, and hopefully it continues on the outside. Jade told me she loved me. I did feel a bit bad because oh, I couldn't reciprocate that there and then. Is she your girlfriend? Oh, we're not boyfriend and girlfriend. We're definitely um, very comfortable with one another, Tim. I care a lot for Jade and she's somebody that I would never ever want to let down or hurt. I don't think Ed is willing to say we'll try it on the outside. If he goes, that's probably the end of our relationship. Your face was priceless through some of that. Yeah. And it's funny because early on we got the sense that you weren't actually keen. Was that the case? Yeah, well, the best thing about what Jade and I had, I guess, is that it grew naturally. At the beginning, I had a very awkward conversation because I wasn't comfortable to you know, fabricate anything and wasn't really willing to share a bed at that stage. But then as it progressed and we spent more time together, I was very comfortable with Jade and confided a lot in Jade and trust mm -hmm. Jade. Mm -hmm. So that just progressed and something I'm very proud of. So was your involvement with Jade, and this question has been asked, yep. ever part of your strategy to no, stay in the house? And the best thing, I guess, going back a couple of weeks is when my brother came and I was able to get a little bit of insight and I knew that other housemates were using that, which is very upsetting because, as I said, if that was part of my strategy, I would have done that So, uh, week so genuine? Through. Yes, it's genuine, genuine. yeah. All right. Yep. It is quite obvious that Jade is absolutely infatuated with you. Do you feel that you're worthy or deserving of that kind of attention from her? Um, I guess it's something that I just didn't, as much as I knew I was going in there as a single guy, I didn't expect to find anything like that in the Big Brother house. And like I said, when Jade, I guess, um, 
told me of how much she cares for me. Uh, I, I was taken aback. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah, that, she definitely that told you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I'm very proud and very humbled, I guess, that she did that. And, and yeah, very keen to chat with Jade when, when she gets out of the house. Okay, well, here's a scenario, Ed. Jade right. gets out, yep. you go to the rap party, and she Let's asks you party. flat out yep. to be her boyfriend. What's your uh. answer? <laughs> <laughs> um, Look, Jade and I, we, uh, we know exactly where it is. As soon as that happens, we'll catch up and chat. And, you know, at the rap party, I might be able to tell you that we are a couple. But um, you know, it's very much wait and see, and I'll wait until she comes out, and then we'll have that conversation with her. <laughs> you should <laughs> go Politician. into politics, yeah. Edward. Oh, no, that's what Big you, Brother tells me. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're very good at not yeah, answering a question. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Um, you know, it's been a great ride. There was romance. There was gameplay. There was drama. There was a lot of working out. Oh, OK. And... Uh, and Everybody here was watching from day oh, one. You forget, you honestly do. You do Let, forget. Let's have a look at I, your time uh, in the house. I don't know if I want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this whole experience in itself is very uplifting. This is pretty cool. <laughs> this week's task is the ashes. Yeah, I've got to go to hospital, yeah. No, you're alive. I'm very privileged to be here and I'm very proud to say I'm friends with these people. Mr Bond, I presume. <laughs> Ed, you are male of the century. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Thank you. Look at this. I've never dealt with anything like this before. I now pronounce you bros. I've never been in a game, let alone felt like I'm in a game, within a game, within a game. We are watching you tonight. For every <laughs> banana that you feed to Ed, you will earn three pass balls. <laughs> See if you can mark it this time. Yeah, I'm not trying to be the most out there person and my whole journey so far has just been natural. On six points, 12 points, four points, seven points, Ed. I feel, yeah, like a really bad person. <sighs> this isn't fun. This is a game at the end of the day, so I'm just trying to roll with the punches and adapt to it all. The next two days are the longer day. This has been a life-changing experience for me. In these four walls, I've learned a lot about myself. Yeah! It's such a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world. This has been the best experience of my life. Make you a bit teary. Yeah. It's, um, it's so funny to, to watch 94 Days back yeah. in a little clip, and you forget so much. 94 Days. Round of applause for that. Yeah. You don't get much closer. And because we are now into the final week, Big Brother has a very important announcement oh. for the housemates and for Australia. We are going to cross live to the house so he can deliver the news. This is Big Brother. Boog, Drew, Jade, Tahan and Tim. Yes. You are the final five housemates. Ooh. Thank you, Big As of right now, the Australian public are no longer voting to save. Oh, whoa. They are voting for their winner. Yeah. What? In exactly one week's time. One week. After 101 days oh. locked away from the outside world, one of you will be crowned the winner of Big Brother 2013. Oh, so what, we're all in the final? Are we all in the final? Oh, nice. Housemates, <coughs> on Monday night, oh, here we go, here we go. Big Brother will evict the two housemates with the least votes to win. Oh, God. Leaving just three housemates in the house for the Big Brother finale. Oh, my God. Housemates, you now have a one in five chance oh. of winning two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> the finish line is in sight. Oh, it is. Yes. Big oh. Brother wishes you all good luck. Thank you. Oh my God! That is crazy. A one week left in the Big Brother house. And that is all.
Thank you, Big Boa. Wait a minute. Wait, what about the colour of the I'm not thinking about cheese and crackers no, right now. Right, so what? what am I? Ding, ding, the championship rounds have begun. No more voting to save Australia from now on. Every vote you ca cast is a vote to win Big Brother. Votes will accumulate with the bottom two going on Monday night's double eviction. And then the votes will continue to add up with the winner being announced next Wednesday. Here's how you can decide the champion. I don't know if I can win, but I think that the good people should make it to the end. I think the people that have been loyal should make it to the end. I'm just going to put it back out to the Australian public and hopefully my fans are still out there and rallying for me. I think Mum would be pretty proud if I had the win. I mean, the money would be good. I guess you'd be known as the winner of Big Brother 2013 rather than just a housemate. I guess that's pretty cool. An intruder's never won it before, so winning Big Brother 2013 as an intruder would just be the highlight of my year, well, my everything. It would just be an absolute bonus. The best part of winning Big Brother, I think bragging rights and the title would be number one for me. To say, hey, I've been up so many times, um, I kept getting knocked down, but I got back up and I won. So that would be the coolest thing for me. Glory. That's something you have to earn. And that people can't take it away. And you can't even really lose it. Once you're the winner, you're the winner. And I want to be the winner. There you go. Ed, thank you so much for yeah, being on Big you. Brother and for being such a brilliant housemate. I think a lot of the women of Australia will be glad to have you back <laughs> oh, now. I love that, that. All right, come up here, take a bow. Come on, Ed. Oh. Come on. Let's hear it for Ed, everyone. <laughs> Don't forget to join us tomorrow for a ghoulish Halloween party where some of our housemates' worst nightmares will come true. Trick or treat secrets will be revealed on a night that we'll never forget. And tomorrow night is your last chance to get tickets to a live Big Brother show. Go to dreamworld.com.au to be part of the audience. I'm Sonia Kruger. See you tomorrow. It's Halloween special. Yeah. Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.